Hey, what's going on to all you Pisces out there? Hope you all have a great day, great evening. Please make sure to smash that like button. There's a link. In, uh, also, there's a link in the comment section below called a Linktree link. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website which has all the ways to be able to financially support the show. So I can most definitely keep the channel going. Look, you Pisces have the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and you Pisces have the Six of Swords. Right? These three cards right here. So what I'm seeing about this situation for a lot of you is that a lot of you very much so are all about how just kind of show you, right? As well as seeing my face. So a lot of you Pisces are very much so interested in... Okay, so a lot of you need to really just pay attention to what you've got going on. There's going to be some people around you that will try to bring you down or... If even if it's not necessarily others right in the form of other people but it's more so in the form of like uh certain situations the but more it is going to be in the form of uh, other people trying to bring you down the five of wands represents how uh frustrated a lot of you pisces really are and the six of swords why it is that you need some form of ability to stay by yourself or why you need to stay away from the crazies in the first place is because you Pisces are essentially too good for, for some people sometimes. Sometimes y'all could really show a lot of love to somebody else and they not really think of you much past money or a body or whatever the situation happens to be. So a lot of you Pisces very much so need to understand that, you know, you have been too good to people sometimes. And the Six of Swords represents you need to learn to stop sacrificing yourself when it's not necessary. And what I put, what I mean for you Pisces is stop allowing yourselves to be put in messed up situations that's caused by others because you because you want to help others, you know. Um, people need to a little, you know, even your own friends, friends need to actually have some backbone about them. So if there's any kind of crazy situation that you Pisces may have gotten into because of your friends, right, says the three of pentacles, then you need to really watch out for that. And, and you should not be letting your so-called friends drag you into a, a confrontation, right, at all. You need to really start to question them. And that if those are individuals that don't understand why that's so messed up in the first place, right? To put you in a messed up situation and now you have to have their back. They are a liability. They are a huge liability, right? Because I'm seeing some form of confrontation that's caused. So maybe it's a job situation. Maybe it's, it's even some sort of friendship situation where, you know, um, maybe even a combination of both where the person that you know on your job, right, that you once would call these this person, these people, your friends, now all of a sudden, they're giving you all kinds of problems. They're giving you a lot of problems. And a lot of you Pisces are like, well, okay, well, what exactly, what, you know what I mean? Like, they may be back talking to boss. Doesn't even necessarily have to be specifically that. These could be people that could just, y'all are cool and the next thing you know, snap of the finger, the next thing you know, now all of a sudden, they wanna now show you a whole new face. Now all of a sudden, they're your adversary just like that out of nowhere. Now they don't wanna rock with you. Now all of a sudden, they don't wanna hang out with you anymore. The Ten of Swords now is about how it is that a lot of you Pisces, you know, this is this is the, the nonsense and this is how it is that it starts. A lot of people could be around you just really jealous, really envious, you know. If you Pisces have ever paid attention to times in your life where it is that you Pisces are in a situation where you're you're in a messed up state <laughs> and then somebody is living good. And then you Pisces go off and you do better for yourself and you're just minding your own business. And then you reach out to this other person or whatever the case may be. And then the next thing you know, this person 
doesn't want to pick up the phone on you anymore when you're trying to reach out. This person, you're not asking them for anything, but the person now all of a sudden, you know, if they pick up the phone or if they call you or if, if you see them, now all of a sudden they're telling you, don't call them again. Don't reach out. And this is the and and envy is is definitely something that you know um, everyone has to deal with, but Pisces is definitely one of those zodiac signs, right? People take unfortunately people will try to really use Pisces, y'all. Unfortunately, right, overplan their hand, trying to act like they're running game on you, right? Because a lot of you Pisces are so beautiful. You know, a lot of you are beautiful in the first place. A lot of you are, you know, very much so capable when you have enough knowledge, right? Or when you're, when you are inspired, a lot of times like bright ideas, like Pisces, y'all be having bright ideas or like you'll have a problem and you'll think of the solution, right? The solution will come to you. Like all of that type of stuff is the is evidence of the over soul or the soul as it is that most people will call it, right? Or the over soul. It's, just, it's literally the same thing. But the over soul just represents our soul that our soul that is physically over our body, that 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 uh hovers or levitates over our body. But the over soul and the soul is the same thing. In essence, it, 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 it's the same thing. And um, the, the, the over soul is just the earth's representation of what the soul would be, basically, right? It's what most people would consider their guardian angel, right? If we're getting into it. And the point that I'm trying to make here is, is that, you know, Pisces is an example of the over soul. Um, Sagittarius is... Virgo is Aquarius. Aquarius is Aquarius is, but like Aquarius is kind of like stumbling to a certain extent because Aquarius is trying to logisticize or make every single thing logical sometimes, and that can kind of break up that 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 inspiration, which is genius in the first place, to to make things too logical. But the point that I'm trying to make here is this is a point of contention. This is a point of why people would be envious um, about you, Pisces, in the first place. It's because of the fact that you, Pisces, have resourcefulness, right? And that's, that's, that's an instrument for envy, but it's also an inspiration for other people to be inspired is resourcefulness what we call resourcefulness is what the was what the soul is about basically taking something that you know a messed up situation right and then looking at it and being like i got a problem how do i fix this and then within seconds or minutes right very soon afterwards solve that problem or maybe even a long time after solve the problem right but that resourcefulness, that ability to think of an answer on the fly in the resistance of pressure, a lot of people will get envious about that. And now you Pisces would be sitting up over here thinking to yourself, the Eight of Pentacles, you just sitting alone doing your own thing. You should not be the subject or the, or the, the person that is the apple of anyone's eye of envy. You understand? You should not be the focus of envy. Why is it that people will envy you? It's because of your resourcefulness. You know, it's because of your resourcefulness. You know, Cancer Crabs, Pisces, uh, Virgo, Sagittarius, that resourcefulness, that, that ability to connect with the oversoul, yourself, that ability to connect with the divine here on earth, that guardian angel, the oversoul, i.e. the soul, is... A lot of you got to understand, Pisces, that a lot of people have essentially been shut off from that because they've become too worldly. They, they're too worldly. They can only think about things from a perspective of like 
the, the worldly perspective, money, you know, ice, which is um, diamonds, having people bow to them and, and, and acknowledge them, right? Like what Roman Reigns would say. Shout outs to Roman Reigns, by the way. Um, but, but acknowledgement and, and validation and bowing and stuff like this is too worldly. You have to put aside your ego in order for you to become more resourceful, right? And it's that balance between being praiseworthy and at the same time, not being, not wanting, not chasing after being praiseworthy, right? Just allowing it to come to you by doing amazing things without letting the praises stop you or get in your way of your sincerity in the first place. And the King of Wands is about you, uh, Pisces, now. This is what it is that you're going to get. The, the, the King of Wands represents said opposition. This is really about you, you know, obviously. But I'm saying that in the long, in the, in the, in the long game, in the bigger understanding of everything, right? This is really about your own testament to how you Pisces will have um, obstacles or adversaries in your way that ultimately, no matter what kind of nonsense that they try, they, they only ultimately end in their own shortcomings basically and this is exactly why it is i don't trip about you know like telling someone too much information right as far as you know being too slanted towards being excessively business minded right cutting people off uh ruthlessly when it comes to I'm on the phone with them and I'm having private readings, right? Or like when a person more so specifically that I'm in, in contact with plays like, I'm playing Kareem, right? I'm, I'm playing him. It's like infinite is knowledge. Excuse me, knowledge is infinite and infinite is knowledge. I said it correctly, but I could say it either way. But knowledge is infinite. So it's like, you think you playing me and all this other type of stuff. And it's like, you only played yourself because you can't come back to me wanting to, to, you know, gain my insight. I'm not going to give it to you because you, you couldn't even meet me halfway with a fair exchange. No, you, you wanted to play what you were, you began to get too worldly. Oh, this person isn't entitled to my money. But yet I don't know you, but yet you're coming to me asking me for help, right? And yet I, here I am willing to do honest business and I'm saying, hey, I can help you with this, okay? But I need something in exchange. I don't know you. So I'm not entitled to help you based upon that. And I'm trying to do clean business. I'm, I'm telling you it up front. There's no usury involved. So when someone wants to start playing themselves, guess what I do, Pisces? I sit back and I'm just like, I don't mind. I, I really don't mind at all. Because at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> you have all this knowledge, then what? Can you apply the knowledge? Can you use it to your advantage, to your benefit? Okay, then when it comes to, to knowledge anyway, okay, when it comes with knowledge, Knowledge is a is a messed up thing because knowledge can blow your head up. It can make you very egotistical. Is the knowledge going to go to your ego or is it going to go to your heart? This is why the heart is so important. Because the love or the heart represents the sincerity of it all. Right? So when you have a lot of so-called friends or like romantic interests that now start wilding out and they switch up... You got to understand that those people are not really ready to step into the higher elements or the higher aspects of learning and education. The education where it's, you don't necessarily have to codify everything in a book. 
the higher education where you don't necessarily have to always show and prove. Because I don't always show and prove when it comes to like needing to show people a piece of, of documentation every time I say something. I, you know, ultimately I say show and prove because life bears witness to the things that I say. All I need to do is pull up the examples or, or, or bring up the examples of what it is I'm talking about. So the Ace of Pentacles now and the Queen of Pentacles is all, excuse me, Queen of Swords is about how it is that you, Pisces, just need to step into being seen by some people like to, to just, to the next step for you, Pisces, is to, and then you have the Knight of Pentacles. The next step for you, Pisces, is to simply to move forward and, and stop caring about your own reputation in a sense that as long as you do people well, right, as best as you can, at the end of the day, ultimately, right, people, you know, that whole ideology of guard your reputation with your life, I think it's, I think it's a little bit dated now, personally, because I think from my own perspective, my own way of life, to me, I know me personally, it's outdated for me. And I'm not saying that you, Pisces, have to agree to this, but what I am saying is, it's outdated from the perspective of like, you could be so caught up with what it is that other people think of you as far as reputation wise to the point where you can end up being an idiot, uh, a, a person that is just meant to be not respected because you're controlled by your reputation. Because ultimately one thing that I had to learn about that that law of power in the 48 law laws of power right it ultimately right you have ultimately some people are going to not want to rock with you and some people are going to rock with you you know people say things about me and, and experience me i've heard i've heard so much i've heard i'm forceful i i don't like a group of pe people i'm defensive i i discriminate None of it is true. None of it is none of that is true in actuality. But it's the it's the truth be told. It's the projections that other people have for me. So I so this is the reason why it is that I say this is why it is that I do not spend or waste my time trying to guard my reputation as much because in essence I understand that some people are going to rock with me and some people are not. Some people are more emotionally, they're, they're looking for a, an excuse to have a problem with me immediately. So no matter how decent I am to those individuals, it's always going to be a situation where they're not going to want to actually do right. Right. No matter how much I try to pay it forward. They're always going to they're, they're going to come up with something. Oh, the way that you especially today, especially since everybody is trying to politicize everything. Everybody's trying to be a victim. Well, not obviously not absolutely everybody, of course. But I'm saying that to give you. The, uh, uh, a state of mind, uh, more so accurately, a mindset to put you in a mindset, right? A state of mind, right? Where, or I should say a mind state where people want to be victims. People will come up with something to have a problem with you, right? Even if in, in, in factuality, that's not why it is that you do what you do. People are going to perceive you all kinds of ways, you know, and and you have to have a thick skin in order to it to really live your life. And that's what the Ten of Wands represents. Accept it all, you know, in the sense of become better with the confrontation. That's the next step in you Pisces is evolution. A lot of you Pisces have been doing a lot of spiritual work as of late is what I'm seeing a lot of personal self-development. 
and seeing because ultimately and and i'll even go i'll even go further and say this right if y'all not doing anything i'm not doing anything i'm in no hurry to to do the other video as of right now i'm just chilling right now just having a real good long reading with y'all just really kicking it getting comfortable getting my feet wet um you know even when it comes to that that's your next step in evolution because ultimately when people say these things to you they're really revealing elements of themselves anyway especially if it's not true if it has no basis in reality you know like with the with the instance of me being forceful i'm a guy enough said but then people will exaggerate it they'll lie oh well, you know and then they'll try to come up with some sort of reason to have a problem with it like oh i don't like so you like guys so i don't like this and it's like how many times do i have to sit up here and say that i'm a sigma i'm not trying to control anybody so you you so what that says to me about you is you need to have a problem you're a weirdo because you need to have a problem even if you have to even if you have to engineer one so now i get to sit back like you pisces get a chance to sit back and watch it how it is that people ultimately prove themselves to be weirdos factually because the more you under see this is this is one of this is very profound because the more you understand yourself internally in your heart who you actually are is the more the sticks and stones is not really going to affect you the the goofy stuff that people say about you you know what i mean is not really going to affect you the the less is going to affect you very rarely it will very rarely it will bring you down because so much cognitive dissonance and that's the thing that you pisces need to develop next is your own your own development and an, an, and the reason why as i said is because people are reading too deeply into these like books no disrespect to robert green but Robert Greene said it himself that these books like the 48 Laws of Power was not meant to be used on other people offensively. It was, a, it was a psychic defense to be able to protect your mind against when people are trying to run game on you. He said it. So the point that I'm trying to make here with that is, e, like for instance, the one of the laws of not talking too much these are things that people naturally have different personalities and do on their own all it is that robert green is doing is pointing out certain elements of people's natures for you to actually observe different elements of of different people's natures to be able to pick and choose the best of those things from to actually put yourself in a in a in a better situation to utilize it not to try to run game on other people but to utilize it in a way that actually benefits you to how it is that you can apply to your own personal life however it may be but what a lot of the dumb dumbs have done pisces what a lot of the dumb dumbs have done is they've essentially using it trying to call themselves lording over other people it's stupid wasting time wasting their own time trying to run game so now let's clarify the ten of wands king of swords the lovers the four of wands the ten of cups and the hanged man the hanged man is Pisces. So you showed up in your own reading. Now, the king of swords and the lovers over here is all about how um, yeah. Well, yeah. That's very interesting. So what it's saying is you got the hanged man up in there. 
it's saying that when it is that people come to you and they make it seem like they love you or they tell you that they love you, right? Or they show up with a smile on their face. The King of Swords and the Lovers represents, you have to really be able to sit back and observe to see how people move in the sense of be patient because people will tell you anything, but you have to really sit back and, and not just see their actions, but also learn to see their intentions behind their actions. I don't get into beefs with people or stop talking to people because of only the things that they do. I stop talking to people and stop taking them seriously to the point where I don't want to hang out with them based upon their intent. A person who decides that they don't want to talk to me anymore and I haven't said or done anything, granted, it is 100% their decision in order to do that. But if one minute we are cool, literally hours ago, and then the next minute you're going at me talking about how it is and I'm not someone that is a good friend or someone who really means you wisdom and prosperity and you and you are projecting onto me i'm looking at the intent and i'm seeing that that person is not necessarily the person i want to have around me i don't care if i rub them the wrong way i don't care if i offend them because they're getting offended they would be offended anyway they would be offended based upon the projections that they think that they're seeing. They're going momentarily crazy. So now the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups now, however, represents how a lot of you have to understand that, that, that the house that you Pisces are trying to build is within yourself, the internal house. Yes, as well as the external house, right? Build your body up, make sure that your physical appearance is good. But you also want to make sure that you're actually healthy on top of it. It's time for you, Pisces, to really start taking care of yourselves and be patient. Because ultimately, you're, you, you're being patient with yourself, right? This is about right now is about you, Pisces, needing to slow down and understand that you are on the verge of self-discovery. Stop trying to rush stuff to be in relationships so bad because what you're doing here is something that most people on earth don't actually have the heart to do. And what you're doing is you're evolving, Pisces, meaning that you're starting to be able to understand people's intentions behind the nonsense that they are doing. You have dysfunctional, disrespectful people coming to you because of the fact that people that once showed themselves like they are decent people, they will betray you. Or people who may not know you have made a very strong decision to not want to be at peace with you and and you are now being able to see to excuse me to observe and see their projections so that's pretty much it comment on the video like the video subscribe